So here I am at the Noble View Outdoor Center in Western Massachusetts, and I found one of the most unusual flowering plants around. This is a really common plant that we see in both hardwood, hardwood and coniferous forests. It's called partridge berry, and it has these beautiful evergreen leaves, and then it has these really unusual flowers. And if I can pull one up to show you, okay, we can see that the flowers come from the same calyx, or, or where the sepals came, where the bud was. These two flowers come up, and they share an ovary at the bottom. Now, if you look closely, the flowers are dimorphic, which means they come in two forms. In one form, the pistils are exerted, the female parts of the flower, and the male parts are very short. And the other, the male parts, the stamens, are exerted, and the female pistil is very short. And what's happening is they're trying to keep from pollinating each other. So to try to keep from doing that, they've changed the form of their, the length of their pistils and their stamens. But to get a berry, both flowers need to be pollinated. And so when they do pollinate, we get berries. And this is an unusual plant because the berries, these are last year's berries, are also with this year's flowers. So we get to see the flowers and the berries together. And if we look closely, the berries have two scars. So that's one from each of the flowers, gives us these two flower scars that obviously this plant, those two flowers were pollinated, the, um, the ovary grew, and a berry was formed. Now the berries are usually occur in the fall and because there's so much less competition, birds like to eat these berries, but there's so much less competition for berries in the fall that there's very little sugar in these berries. They're not um, very sweet. They don't make anything uh, nice, like no blueberry pies out of this, no partridge berry pies or anything like that. They're fairly waxy. And, and that tells us that plants, they, they're competing, but when there's less competition, they don't have to try to put in all those sugars to make them more attractive to the, the birds that might, um, that might eat the seeds. And of course, they want the berries to be eaten so that the seeds can disperse. Partridge berry is a woody vine, and the vine will creep along the ground, and every time a node touches the ground, it will send out roots. So this colony could all be the same plant just been spreading out for um, years and years and years. Um, it's, it's also sometimes called twinberry, but there are other plants called twinberry as well. And so sometimes it's better to know the scientific name. This is Michella rapens. Rapens because it's lying on the ground. Michella is actually named for John Mitchell, who was a friend of Linnaeus, who came up with this whole system of naming plants and he was responsible for finding uh, uh, treatment for yellow fever. And so Linnaeus wanted to recognize that um, accomplishment, and so he named this little plant Michella rapens for him. I'm Tom here at Nobleview Outdoor Center for Two Naturalists.